Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the best breakfast chain restaurants in the USA. Now, obviously, the USA is going to have a lot of options. Like even like if you were to go down to each state, there's going to be, you know, probably at least five solid options for breakfast chains. So to whittle down the list, you know, like to actually find the best in the whole country is going to be quite tricky. I'm going to guess that it's going to be the big national chains that are going to dominate this list. Maybe McDonald's or something like that, because here the McDonald's breakfast options are pretty good. But yeah, I'm eager to see what makes the list. Let's do it. One great thing about eating breakfast at a restaurant is the ability to try new things. While the breakfast restaurant options are numerous, not all the chains are worth your money. These are the top breakfast chains ranked from the worst to the absolute best. If you go to Denny's for breakfast, Denny's. you'll enter the restaurant with high hopes and leave completely underwhelmed. While Denny's has the famous <laughs> Grand Slam breakfast, everything about it is overrated. The original really? Grand Slam comes with a pair of buttermilk pancakes, a pair of sausage links, two strips of bacon, and two eggs. Unfortunately, the pancakes are virtually flavorless, the sausages are disappointingly small, the bacon is too fatty, and the scrambled eggs are just disappointing. Skipping the overrated Grand Slam doesn't solve anything. From their Belgian waffles to their toast to their hash browns, it's amazing how this restaurant has been able to remove the joy from each and every breakfast item. <laughs> Do yourself a solid and go somewhere else remove when you're out joy. and about for breakfast. Otherwise, you'll have false hope that your day will be starting with a Grand Slam home run, but you'll really just be striking out. Here's the pitch. Strike three, you're out of there! <laughs> In theory, a trip to Tim Hortons for breakfast makes a lot of sense. Tim Hortons is known for its coffee, and they have a variety of breakfast sandwiches on their menu. Plus, our friendly neighbors to the north can't seem to shut up about how much they love Timmy's. Makes Tim Hortons is a Canadian chain, isn't it, I think? Yeah. Perfect sense you'd pull in, right? Actually, that's totally wrong. Tim Hortons is undeniably struggling as the quality of their food and drinks has gone down and their prices have gone up. Some blame the fact the chain was taken over by Burger King. But whatever the true reason is for their downfall, Canadians are disappointed with what has become of their former favorite restaurant chain. Even if you loved Tim Hortons in the past, going there today is probably a mistake. The glory years of this chain are in the rearview mirror and they aren't coming back. The original Pancake House sounds like the place to go for some yummy pancakes Ooh, to start your day good. off on the right foot. Cool. Sadly, that's just not the case. While the portions are impressively large and the prices are entirely reasonable, the taste and texture of their pancakes leave a lot to be desired. The pancakes have an overwhelming flour taste no matter which option you go with. And secondly, the texture of their pancakes can be best described as chalky. If you do find yourself- Too much flour, too much flour at one of their locations spread across more than 25 states in the country, Both skip the pancakes and go with the crepes instead. Although you still won't be thrilled, you'll be able to salvage what otherwise was bound to be an utter failure of a breakfast. Oh my Another God. Broken Egg Cafe is a breakfast restaurant chain that is This narrator, she is roasting the hell out of these places. Growing quickly and has received a lot of hype. Born in Louisiana in 1996, this chain now has over 100 locations around the country, mostly in the South. The atmosphere at this chain is pleasant, and the food looks pretty when it arrives at your table. However, there are a couple of issues with the Another Broken Egg Cafe. The primary issue is the price tag. Everything on their menu is overpriced, from their beverages to all their food items. And while the presentation of what you pay for is aesthetically pleasing, it doesn't taste half as good as it looks. The food isn't bad, my Mind you, but it's simply not good enough to justify the price. You'd be better off eating at home. What did I always tell you? Breakfast is a big boy's most important meal of the day. Now start on these cocoa puffs and I'll scramble you some eggs. Though you won't experience a wow. How much like are the breakfasts at another broken egg cafe? Like, cause she said that they're expensive. Like how much are we talking here? Like if, if I was really hungry, how, how, how much would it take to fill me up in there? moment when dining at La Peep, it's a perfectly acceptable breakfast destination. The best thing this chain has going is the wide array of options available on their menu. From gooey buns to French toast, anyone with a sweet tooth for breakfast will be thrilled. Sweet isn't your thing? You'll still be able to find something on their menu that will catch your eye and tantalize your taste buds. Be warned though that not everything on La Peep's massive menu is worth ordering. 
Specifically, stay away from their Mexican food. While the pictures look scrumptious, it's highly disappointing. While Village Inn serves breakfast, lunch, oh, and dinner. Now that is my kind of breakfast. A lot of eggs, some bacon, some mushroom. You just need some baked beans, the sausage, and some toast. Oh, that'd be great. This restaurant chain is known primarily for its breakfast. Unlike La Peep, the Mexican-inspired breakfast choices at Village Inn, such as the Tres Huevos Rancheros and the Smothered Breakfast Burrito, won't leave you disappointed. That said, nothing really stands out from the rest on Village Inn's breakfast menu. Most options are good enough to satisfy you, but the food here isn't very memorable. As a result, unless you are already in the area, it's not really worth extra effort to hit up this restaurant. If you have kids tagging along, Village Inn gets bonus points for having a yummy kids menu that includes a variety variety of options that should satisfy even the pickiest of eaters. Just about every child in existence will enjoy their pancakes served with super sweet syrup. Come on, dig in. I put blueberries in them just the way you like. That the first was watch was opened in 1983 with breakfast as their sole focus. In fact, their first restaurant closed at 2.30 in the afternoon each day. That focus on breakfast remains the same today. First Watch wants to satisfy all your breakfast needs, and they do an adequate job of doing just that. One area where First Watch really shines is their bacon. That bacon is overdone though. Maybe because I'm from the UK and we have our bacon a bit uh, thicker. Like this just looks like a cookie that you just break it and it shatters. Considering that bacon is the best part of breakfast for many people around the world, that's no small feat. If you want to try their bacon, order the traditional. Along with their scrumptious bacon, you'll also get two eggs, whole grain toast, and potatoes that have been expertly seasoned. Another area where First Watch mm, separates itself is the quality wow. of their healthy breakfast options. Their avocado oh, toast, oh, which oh, features oh. whole grain toast piled high with a daring amount of avocado and topped with sea salt and lemon juice, is just downright delicious. Mm. If you wake up starving, Bob Evans is a great place to go for breakfast. Though the quality of their food isn't the top of the line, the oh. servings are gigantic, and you are sure to leave the restaurant no longer hungry. For your hungriest of mornings, go with the aptly named Whole Hog Meal. This gargantuan breakfast comes complete with two patties of sausage, two slices of bacon, a slice of ham, one hot cake, one slice of French toast, two eggs, and either hash browns Diet. or fries. Sure, it has nearly 2,000 calories, but breakfast... 2,000 calories, whoa! That's my daily allowance, like in one meal. Breakfast doesn't always have to be healthy. The only issue with Bob Evans is their hotcakes. While they are quite large, they aren't very flavorful, and that's unfortunate. If you're from the South and you love rich, flavorful food for breakfast, you've surely loved your visits to Huddle House. Today, you can visit one of their hundreds of locations and be confident that the quality will be high. If you've never been to Huddle House before, a good introductory breakfast meal is the country fried steak stuffed hash browns. This meal begins with a big slab of country Ooh. fried steak. The steak is topped with is American that? cheese and scrambled eggs. Instead of bread, the goodness is held together by two layers of hash browns. The final touch is a few scoops of sausage gravy going on top of it all. As long as you enjoy savory food. Sausage gravy, never heard of that before until today. It's impossible for- I need it in my life though. For your taste buds to be disappointed. While IHOP might not be the hippest restaurant IHOP, in the neighborhood, classic. there are good reasons why you can find this restaurant in every state. I've Firstly, if you have a hankering for pancakes, you can't go wrong here. While you may be able to find higher quality pancakes, the quantity of options is very impressive. Secondly, the prices at IHOP are always affordable. Yeah. To make matters even better, IHOP often has specials and promotions that lower their already low prices. If you are responsible for feeding a whole brood of humans, this chain will be friendly to your pocketbook. Thirdly, there are other tasty items on their menu for those people who don't like pancakes. Burritos at IHOP? Sure, why not? Stranger things have happened. Remember when they did this? We're even changing our name to the International House of Burgers. IHOP. Oh yeah! <laughs> If you value quality above all when it comes to breakfast food, it's tough to compete with Perkins. Perkins While their pancakes, okay. waffles, French toast, and crepes are all smaller than what you will find elsewhere, the quality is unquestionable. There's a bonus too. Whenever you visit a Perkins location, getting something from their bakery is a must, even when you're visiting for breakfast. From cookies to slices of pie. Is Perkins nationwide or is it just east coast or west coast or down south? Like, 
What region is it available? You can't go wrong. If you just want to eat from their bakery to begin your day, you can order one of their mammoth muffins, and that's all you will need for a hearty breakfast. While their apple cinnamon and blueberry muffins are tasty, it's their banana nut muffins that are otherworldly. Although Cracker Barrel serves more than just breakfast, they can't be ignored when it comes to ranking the best breakfast restaurant chains. Not only is their breakfast food amazingly good, it's also served all... Those eggs look fake to me. Like, do you know what I mean? They don't look like real eggs. Like, <laughs> they just look too perfect. All day. That flexibility allows you to start your day off right, no matter what time you eventually roll out of bed. While Cracker Barrel doesn't have a wide array of breakfast options, you can be 100% confident of everything on their breakfast menu. When it comes to breakfast, this restaurant is incapable of disappointing you. If Cracker Barrel's breakfast menu was more extensive, it very well could be at the top of our ranking. As it is, it's still a place you should head to right when you get out of bed, no matter the time. If you want a fancy breakfast for a reasonable price, Mimi's Bistro and Bakery is the restaurant chain you should visit. Mimi's when it comes Bistro. to quiches, no other breakfast chain can compare. Mimi's Bistro and Bakery mm. also has mind-blowing yes. Eggs Benedict options oh, and yeah. picture-perfect omelets. Benedict. Their smoked salmon omelet is the best of the bunch, oh. although pretty much every omelet is a worthy contender for that title. Mimi's Bistro and Bakery has masterfully combined French breakfast food with American breakfast food. Bottom line? Their restaurants are worth driving to, even if it's a long distance from your home. Although they're facing more competition than ever, Waffle, Waffle House still does breakfast better than any other restaurant. Their locations are comfortable, their employees are friendly, and they're a great place to visit with a group of friends. And America has taken note, as this restaurant serves nearly 150 waffles per minute. If you want to... Damn, that's a crazy amount of waffles. Play it safe. Ordering waffles at Waffle House is the way to go. However, that's far from your only option. Pork chops, omelets, steak, you name it, they have it. Waffle House is open every day, every minute, and every second of the year. So as long as there isn't a major natural disaster, you can always go there and satisfy your cravings. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus I'm even hungry. more mashed videos so about popular restaurant right chains. I'm legitimately starving right now, honestly. Like, all I've eaten today is breakfast, right? I, and for breakfast, I have two slices of brown toast with peanut butter and a little bit of strawberry jam, jelly, as you guys call it, and then like a big green smoothie. But now I really want some sausage, some bacon, some egg, high cholesterol stuff, but it's just oh so delicious. I'm gonna have to go find me some, uh, some some fried breakfast from somewhere because yeah, this video has me just starving. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.